I began my career as a research analyst after 20 years working consumer goods and beverages, including spells at McKinsey, consulting to beverage companies, including some time at Guinness, which became Diageo, working in strategy and then in sales, and actually a span of time as, my, as a wine merchant running my own wine business. I think the outlook for European beverages is going to be another tough year. Uh, they are heavily dependent on emerging markets for growth, and emerging markets, as we know, is in turmoil. Not everybody, but a lot of emerging markets are having difficult times. Plus, in the United States, there's the growth is coming in the areas that aren't typically areas of strength for these companies, coming from craft beer, from Mexican imports. So the large European beverage companies are going to have a tough year. I think there's a lot at stake in the Brexit referendum. Particularly if you examine the Scotch industry, Scotch industries very heavily depend on exports. If Britain goes it alone, will it have the same uh, export arrangements as an independent country as it has as part of the EU? I suspect not. If we saw a revival in commodity prices, if that then drove emerging markets, a recovery in emerging markets, and confidence in emerging markets, then I'd have to revise my estimates up. And on the flip side, if life turns out to be even worse than we're expecting, I'd have to take them down. I enjoy most the privilege of just researching and understanding this industry in depth, talking to lots of people who work in it, uh, talking to lots of people who observe it, and then trying to pull it all together and say, what does it mean for an investor? How are you going to make money or lose money uh, out, of, uh, out of this industry? The, the sector I cover and what I enjoy most is undoubtedly, it, it's beverages. It's all about people enjoying themselves, and it's all rooted in the consumer. And that makes it very interesting because investors always have their own opinion about beverages, what they like, what they don't like. And so trying to frame that against, well, here's what I think is really happening in the marketplace. My nightcap, a lot depends. Uh, it could be just a, a, a bottle of a good British ale. It could be a single malt whiskey, uh, maybe a rum on the rocks. Uh, it varies depending on the mood I'm in. Mean.